Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we made it to Zora's Domain. And this time, we've been told where to get shock arrows that we need at least 24. How many do we have? We have... 13, so we're gonna need a little bit more. But starting off, while we're here in Zora's Domain, the first thing we probably want to do, even though we've already done several other things, is go down here and activate this shrine so we can teleport here whenever we need to. But since we're here, we might as well also just do it. Push, uh, pushing power. So, this one's gonna be primarily... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This one's gonna be primarily, um, using Crayonis. We need to be careful about where we walk because there are boulders going down everywhere. Please get out of the way. Oh, please, 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 thank you. Well, we can seem to walk up this whole area here, so... I'm gonna keep doing this for a little bit. Oh, hello. Put another one there. I might even climb up this because... I believe about here... I can actually just... You know... I can actually just know... That I can't do that. Um... Maybe... There we go. So we can get up here. We can see there's an orb up there that we need to get down... To there without... I think down there, right? Maybe? Where, where are we? Where are we? Where you? Where are we? So it's there. There's a chest I need to get. Oh, we do need to get it down there. Okay. Well, that works for me then. I just need to do it well enough to get it into position. Without also just having it drop off the edge at the very end, because that's annoying. Um, there's a lot of rocks that are just rolling down. Now, where is this thing? Can I just... I, I think I can just grab this thing and go back up again. Probably. Zora Spear? My inventory is full. Um, I think I had something that wasn't great. Travel Sword. Let me just chuck that out. Did it not break? I don't think it broke. I didn't... I'm not sure about that one. Anyway, grab that and let's head up here, please. Please go back up. Nope. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can crawl under it, which is a bit strange. But maybe... Maybe? Maybe. Maybe I can get back up. If I try... Hard enough. There we go. Okay. And now let's have a look at getting that orb to wherever it needs to go. So, let's start off by pushing it off that platform there. Okay, when we push that up, it's going to go down there. Let's break a few of those. Let's actually put something like... Put that there, just so we're being safe. Hopefully this doesn't actually do what I don't want it to do. So let's do that. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is going to be difficult with so many other things in the way. Okay, so we need to get it down safely and slowly. Which I think we can do if we block that up there. And then make sure it doesn't fall off the edge over here. Which is easier said than done. But I think... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what is so... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Um, let's let that... Break open, I suppose. And then, quickly... Put that there so we can make sure that we're gonna... Have some control over this. Um, let's see. We could just have it rolled down this way now. But I don't think that's a great idea. So how about we, um, be very careful because we've already got three out. Let's throw that over. Then throw a few more over. This is so uncontrollable. 
And now the orb's there and it's not moving down. Oh my goodness. I could just slowly... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay then. Let's just get rid of some of those. Okay. Oh, no, 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 pain, 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 where's the orb? Ah! I, I would not recommend jumping in because you really want to be on the edges or stuff. Oh, orb, the orb, the orb, the orb, the orb, the orb, the orb, no! Well, there it goes, we have to restart. I'm not joking. We actually do have to restart the entire puzzle now. So, without dying, let's place a block here. And let's... Please. Please. Because the water's at an angle, we can't actually just angle the blocks wherever, however we want, unfortunately. I'm, I remember this being a lot simpler than what it seems to be right at the moment. It's probably because of all the balls just going everywhere, wherever they want. Let's figure this out. Gonna send that over. Okay, it's now in the line. Now to figure out this mess over here. Let me try... there, maybe? Just to get rid of that orb. Maybe if I... put more, like... there... I can control the flow. So now they're gonna go the other way, mostly. Now, getting this to not go wherever it wants is gonna be the trickier part here. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. The orb. This is, this, this is just what I'm gonna do. And hopefully... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. No, not that one. No, don't, don't. Ah. Oh. Thank you, Rock, for being my friend. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I, um, I'm gonna go with plan B. Since that's probably gonna work better overall. Just need to get onto this platform over here again. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break that. And I guess I can't really break the other one from here. But we're gonna... We're gonna... Launch that up. And then I'm gonna go... Away forever. And then, while I'm right over here... Is this the orb? Yes it is. Let's... Do that a few times. And then let's release it. And there we go. What happened to all the balls? Did they just stop after a point? What what stops them? I wonder if it's because I disrupted the laser for a second? A little bit? But I didn't notice anything. I didn't though. So what happened? That that they would get in the way of the I don't know. I don't know. Something happened and now they're all not spawning in.
Anyway, we've got all the chests in the shrine, so let's go. And I'm just gonna have to recommend using the stasis at the end, just to make things easier. Well, there we go. Let's grab some of these things while we're here, I suppose. Also some bright-eyed crab. And this thing. Silver longsword. Have I picked it up before? Yes, I have. Okay. Also, how did it just tell me that I arrived at the shrine again? I don't know. Anyway. Let's have a look around. There's a place to stay for the night. All is that as it should be. Hello and welcome. Zora's domain is currently searching for a Hylian like you. That said, this Hylian, I get the feeling I've seen him before. Perhaps a long time ago. Okay, Baz. Good morning. Um, who are you? I'm a Hylian. Oh. So if you're a Hylian, did you come from far away? I asked because my... Oh, never mind. My dad told me not to, not to talk to strangers. Okay. We also have a shop over here where we can buy stuff. But the thing is... Oh, I need to clear out literally everything. The thing is, when we're in a shop, we can actually just take a picture of literally every... Every item in it, so take advantage of that. Those should be the same, right? 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 Yes. That doesn't count. Swift... Uh, Violet. There we go. Anything else? There's a Zora there and a other things. Um, chillin, a chillfin trout. You can tell what that does. Sizzlefin trout. This red trout prefers warm bodies of water. It has special uh, organs. Uh, it has a special organ specifically for storing heat. When cooked into a dish, it temporarily boosts your resistance to the cold. This blue trout prefers cold bodies of water. Its skin contains enzymes that keep its body cool, and when, it, when cooked into a dish, it will temporarily boost your heat resistance. This uh, vitally rich uh, flower blooms mainly on cliff faces, cliff sides. When cooked into a dish, the nourishment, nourishing compounds increase your movement speed. Okay. Well, there we go. I'm also going to change those markers because they're kind of annoying me. Just a little bit. Let me, like, shield or something, I guess. It's not really that big. Or maybe star. Our star seems pretty good. Let's do that. Okay, and while we're doing things. Let's actually head over to this uh, shrine over here by the stable because we are told about a, a secret treasure at one point and I want to take a look at doing that now. Okay, let's also change my tunic so I'm not just this weird looking guy. Also the the champion's tunic with the Hylian hood looks really cool. Which is probably why they used it in amiibos and stuff. So anyway, do I have a specific quest thing for it? There's a lot of things. Misko the Great Bandit. We've already had a look at this. The little twin steps over the river. My cave rests above the river's source. And that's by Dueling Peak Stable, so the river I believe that it's referring to is over here. So we're going to have to follow along with it. Also, I forgot something, so I'm going to go back quickly. Okay, we're back. And with any good town, there's usually a goddess statue around, and we have eight orbs. So I want to find that so I can use them. I'm guessing it's up on the second floor, if I can stop walking into this pole. Just, you know, normal things. Oh, hello, bright-eyed crab. Just walking along. Oh, and some stuff here. Chickaloo tree nut. Small birds love this nut. 
you can eat it raw for a minor effect, but it can also be added as a spice to other recipes. Does this count as something I can take a picture of? No, it does not. Okay. I think I went the wrong way to get upstairs, but that's fine. This thing just loops around, so I need to actually jump off over here, I suppose, or just walk around. And go up this way. This uh, also a cooking pot, I believe, down in the place down there to stay in for overnight stays and all that, you know. Words. Prince Sidon, so dreamy. Now, is it down here? No. It's been a long while since I last played this game, so I'm going to have to look around a bit more. Oh, it's right over here. Of course it is. Okay. And, since we have eight, I want to get a stamina vessel. Yes. There we go. Got a fair bit now. And I haven't mentioned yet, but if you get the same thing twice in a row, or multiple times, from a got a statue, it only plays the animation of the thing floating down once. This is the same with hearts as well, so it's not just stamina. But there we go. And now let's head back to the stable. Okay, let's uh, go. There's also that there, which is interesting, I suppose. We could knock it down to try and get the thing at the top or climb up the ladder like a normal person. Oh, bird. Okay. Big twin bridge, I believe. That's what the thing said, right? The little twin steps over the little river. Oh, I guess it's just the name of the river. There's also this here, I suppose, I could get rid of. Do I have something that's actually good for knocking this out of the way? I do have a sledgehammer. Sledgehammers just work better for knocking things into the air. And into the distance. Forever. There it goes. Is this not a Korok? This is just a chest with an opal in it. Okay. Oh, wow. When I throw something away, I don't usually expect something to be thrown back. Okay. Anyway. Just keep walking around. What does this say? Big twin bridge? Little twin bridge. Okay. Let's have a look at that one then. Let's see what else we can find. So this is the little twin bridge. So the quest said the little twin and the little river. So this is the little river, which means that's just the big twin river. I heard that. It's that bush over there, which is the Oak Rock. So, some birds. So I need to follow this ri river, I think. Down here. Might also switch my weapon up so I'm ready for things to fight. Use my Zora Spear, I suppose. It's nice having a lot more stamina than before. It means I can run for longer. Which is very useful for traveling. Okay. Let's go pick up that. Lots of things just spawning in for extra meat. I think if you shoot one of the small birds, they give you the chestnut things. Okay. I don't know if I've taken a picture of Octorox in all their forms yet. Possibly not, but that's probably fine. But anyway, we're entering a forest now. And I believe I need to be slightly careful around here. Um... Yeah, I'd say that. I'd, I'd say I need to be careful. So I'm gonna leave that over there for now. 
But I might actually just pin it down so I know that that's there. So, let's, um, quickly. Let's quickly take a picture. Can I take a picture of this? Maybe I can't take a picture of this. That's fine, let me just change the mark to, um, death skull stamp thing. Oh, and there's a bear. Which I think you could actually mount and then soothe a whole lot. Er, and now we have a bear friend. We can't actually take it to an inn. But it's kind of cool that we can do this. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. What's that, that thing there? No. If we shoot that thing, it drops rupees. There's a lot of things in this woods. Oh, hello. Oh no. I'm gonna run. Down to the river, down to the river. Also, boar. There's a surprising amount of boar considering there's a bear all running around. Two bears. Mol mol many bears. So many bears. It's unbearable. Okay. Grab some of these silent shrooms, and then this is probably. Yeah. A Korok. Oop, drop that. Ah, don't fall in the water. I'm great at this. Anyway, we have this waterfall here, which I believe, if I had to find the right buttons, would be the river's source. So let's just go ahead and climb up. You can probably jump a few times since I've got the stamina for it. This is a long way up, though. So you need to be very careful. Just going to go up a little bit further, come on. Okay, grab some of these silent shrooms and let our stamina recharge. And let's head up. Okay. Looks like there's something up here. If I change the camera a little bit, you can probably see it better. There's a rock we can explode. Okay. So, let's blow this up from a distance. Unlike I normally do. Let's head in got multiple treasure chests in here. Oh my goodness, there's so many treasure chests. Let's start opening them up. Sapphire, a precious blue gem mined from natural rock formations. Sapphires contain the very essence of ice. They've been known to fetch a high price since ancient times. Misko the Great Bandit complete. Got some amber. Got some hearty radish, I think. Opal. Toasted hearty truffle? What? Also, it's not radish. I don't know why I, I just... Hearty truffle is just the, the normal thing. I think. But we can't take pictures of it, so... Might as well just take it. There's a few more chests left. I can't cook roasted stuff. Why would you give me roasted stuff? Or toasted stuff? Limerous stone. Hey, look at that. Cool stuff. Anyway, let's blow up that rock over there as well. Getting the last treasure chest in here. Flame Blade. This magical sword was forged in the lava of Death Mountain. It leaves white hot flames in its wake when the blaze blade glows red. My inventory is full. Well, that's not going to be true for much longer. Herder. Okay, let's uh, grab this because it's going to look cool. 24 attack is pretty good as well. And if you use it near lava, or well, no grass, it will light on fire. But if you use it too many times in a row, it will just go out. But it will recharge, as you can see it's recharging now, and that's how much you can use its flame. Anyway, let me just throw it over there and blow up those things there. Grab some extra food. And I think this is also... Have I taken a picture of a soldier spear? No, I have not. Let's do that. But there we go, that's another quest taken care of. Not that it was important for anything, but anyway. But anyway, that is it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.